Hi, welcome to the academic broadcasting platform. Today, we will solve this math. We will find out here the value of x. And at the end, I will also show you how you can find out the graph for this kind of math equations. Let's see. Our math equation is x cube minus x square minus 20x is equal to 0. We see one thing here x we can take common from all parts because x here, x here, and also x is here. So if we take x common, we will get equation x square minus x minus 20 is equal to 0. And we know before how we can solve this one. Uh, if we have equation x square minus x plus or minus any value for constant value, we can solve this kind of equation. So we can write down here 20 as 5 into 4 is equal to 20. So we can write down x square minus 5x plus 4x is equal to 20 because that actually the same as like the previous equation. So then the next line we can take x common so that will be x minus 5 plus 4 common that will be x minus 5. So the next line it will be we can take common x minus 5 from the both side so that will be x minus 5 x plus 4. So now we have here x into x minus 5 into x plus 4 is equal to 0. And we know that if any single factor on the left side of the equation equals to 0, the whole expression will be equal to 0. So we can write down s equal to 0, x plus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to minus 4 and x minus 5 is equal to 0, that will be x is equal to 5. So our x value is 0 minus 4 and 5. Now we will check the x value is right or wrong. How we can do that? We can do the cross check. And cross check also important during the exam because if you get some value of x or y, but that might be wrong. So you have to make sure your answer is right. How you can do that? Uh, you can need to put this x value to the main equation. So we got x 0 minus 4 and 5. So now we will put 1 by 1 to the equation. So when x is equal to 0, our equation we can put here 0 cube minus 0 square minus 20 into 0. So that will be 0. So our left hand side and right hand side those are equal so that's x is equal to 0 satisfy the equation now let's see for x equal to minus 4 when we will put here the value x minus 4 that will be minus 4 whole cube minus minus 4 square then minus 20 into minus 4 we'll get minus 64 minus 16 plus 80 is equal to 0. minus 64 minus 16 will be minus 80 and plus 80. So we'll see here again our left hand side and right hand side equal. So minus 4 also satisfy the equation. Now we have our last value of x. 
so we have x is equal to 5 so that will be 5 cube minus 5 square minus 20 into 5 so 5 cube that's equal to 125 5 square equal to 25 and 20 into 5 will be 100 so 125 plus minus 25 minus 100 that will be minus 125 so we see again left hand side is equal to right hand side so x is equal to 5 also satisfy the equation so our answer is x is 0 minus 4 5 I was also interested to see the graph of this equation if you like you can do that or if you don't like to draw the graph you can just ignore I know that many students they don't like how to make a graph of equation so you can just ignore but but if you like you can do that way you can let this whole equation is equal to y now you can put the value of x to the equation and you will get the value of y so if you put 0 you will get 0 to the equation if you put 3 I just take the random values so you can do whatever 1 2 3 4 if you take 3 so the equation will be 3 to the power q minus 3 square minus 20 into 3 so that will be y is equal to 42 if you take the value minus 4 that will be y will be 0 again if you take x minus 2 y will be 28 so you can just put all x value to the equation and you will get the value for y if you put the value for x5 you will get the y again 0 uh, I can show you um, how you can get for the 5 okay so if you put here 5 q that will be 100 25 then minus x square you will get 5 square so that's minus 25 then minus 20 minus x so x5 so 20 minus 20 into 5 so that will be minus 100 so we see here y is equal to 0 so that's how you can find out all value of for y by putting the value of x so now we need to put those values in the graph so first value we know that this one 0 0 x 0 x y both are 0 in that place then we get x 3 and y minus 42 how we can do that so x 3 so this we know that this for x axis is the horizontal line and the vertical line we know that this one y so x3 1 2 3 and y 42 so y will be somewhere like that so that's the value for uh, x3 and y 42 then we can do the same way minus 4 for x and y 0 so x minus 4 we know that way x plus and that way x minus so x minus will be that way so minus 4 0 this point then we have minus 2 28 then we have the last one 5 
and 0 then we'll get this point then you will can just get connected all of those point and you will get this type of curve so that is the way you can draw a curve for any equations and that will be more helpful for you that's all for today hopefully you guys like how you can solve this math by using multiple methods and please don't forget to subscribe my channels thank you